Alright guys, welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today we got something really cool. We got a pistonless hybrid cannon and it's pretty powerful. It's really made for medium to short range distances and uh, this is my go-to hybrid design. It's pistonless so that's always nice so the timing is a lot easier to get down. It's nine full repeaters max delay and then all you have to do is place a TNT here and then so the sand will have some place to stand on so that repeater will power that and it will power that so the sand and TNT will stick together somewhat and I use this cannon for really short range distances it's really not good for anything else so it works like a charm so basically what I did with this design is just added more TNT and then I added a barrel and what the barrel does is it makes the TNT stick together in a tighter kind of ball so I added two, two sand on this one and then all you have to do is kinda like follow that outline so the barrel does help I tested it like half the length of this barrel it doesn't work as effectively you really need at least 12 blocks of barrel length to really so the this the TNT and sand stay on the same line so I'm gonna show you guys how this works basically these TNT get activated slightly before these so they sh they compress the TNT in front of the cannon and it works like a charm so the reason why I did that is you can get a lot more distance by um, so these three TNT get activated before the major barrel TNTs get activated. So it's one repeater. So I'll just show you again. So make sure you add a TNT here so the sand will have a place to fall onto. So watch how it works. And as you can see, all the TNT just went right and straight in the front of the barrel, so it's more powerful. And uh, you guys can watch my TNT compressing or TNT boosting video to get a better idea of how that works. So uh, if I get 30 likes, I will do a tutorial, and I will uh, be glad to do that. So thanks for watching, guys, and make sure you leave a like. 